Hey guys, welcome to the channel, Windows to Heaven Art. I'm your host, Stephen Cooley, and in this video, I'm going to do another bird, only it's going to be a little bit different in style because I'm going to try to input a little bit more detail into it than the last one. And I'm going to be using oils, and the canvas size is also going to be just a little bit bigger, um, a square canvas, which I believe is a 12 by 12. So let's jump right into it and see what we can learn. Welcome back, everybody. This bird is going to be an indigo bunting. And I do have a reference photo that I'm using. Although, like you've probably heard me say before, I like to make my paintings unique. So I don't, I don't like to just copy something. Um, so I'm going to make this a little bit different than the one I was looking at. But it's an indigo bunting sitting on a berry bush, like a blackberry bush. And the stuff that we're doing today is super simple stuff. It's really just create a sketch, get it onto the canvas. I use graphite paper to do that. And I'm painting the background right now. And I'm just leaving the subject matter unpainted. So I'm getting as close as I can, you can see there with the green paint, to the lines of the bird and the plant. And there we have that. Now I am starting to put in the bush, which is a close-up of a thorny blackberry bush. You can see I'm using more of a fine brush to get the uh, to fill in the background around the sketches. Now I'm working on putting a leaf there. Now the sunlight is coming up from the top right hand portion of the canvas shining down. So what I'm working on there is I'm basically just painting in some yellow and creating a leaf that the sun is shining through and you're seeing the opposite side so it's going to look really bright and in contrast to that I got a leaf um, down in the bottom there that I just put in with some white that's going to be white because the top of the leaf reflects the sunlight differently than when you're looking through it from the other side so that's why the one on the bottom is going to look more white and the one um, kind of in the middle there to the right side is going to look yellow Starting to put in some shading now to the stalk of the bush. Sticking in some thorns as well. That was really fun to do the thorns because the sun was... It's kind of shining through the, the plant and you can see um, it almost looks translucent. So it's going to be like yellow and, and white um, with the sun shining right through it. Really, inspiration for the birds that I do is, um, especially right now, is I'm thinking about spring and summer, and so I want to paint something that reflects my uh, dreaming of spring, if you will, just like the title of the other video. I'm thinking about those seasons, and so I want to capture that in these paintings these bird paintings I'm doing. I also have always just liked um, the color combination of blue and green together. Which the bird is going to be entirely blue. So we're going to be working on that next. I, 
I'm pretty sure that the blue that I was using there is just an ultramarine blue. And it has a nice indigo bunting flare to it when you're just painting it directly on the white canvas. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just filling in the sketch. And then our painting will be entirely blocked in with no more canvas showing through. And when you're doing a close-up of an animal like that, it's it's easy to get kind of daunted by the amount of detail that it will need, especially if you're painting more of a photorealistic painting. But my best advice from what I've learned so far doing them is don't overcomplicate it. Just, just take it simply and it really helps to use reference photos. I can't say that enough. I do it basically with every painting where I'm not quite sure how to do it. I'll just keep a reference photo up so I can follow it kind of as a guide. But it's really uh, helpful to look at the reference photo and don't overcomplicate what you're doing. Just take it simply and that'll be better than if you try to overcomplicate it. Now I'm just feeling in some green around the edges of the bird that I didn't get good enough. I'm putting in some kind of a brownish gray color for the feet. And remember all this is going to be highlighted and more detailed later on. This is just the way it looks starting out. Paintings never, never look the way they're supposed to in the first few minutes. Working on the beak there. If you ask me why paint a bird, I would just basically tell you because I've liked birds like my whole life. I've always loved like bird watching and something about them I just like a lot. So paint what you're inspired for. There is so much out there, um, so many different kinds of art and so many different people that like so many different things. Paint what you are inspired for. If you try to paint something that you're not really into or you're not inspired for um, because simply because you think somebody else will like it, then I think you're missing out on your unique niche in painting. You can see I'm putting in some shadows there into the feathers. Um, a lot of that will disappear as I do some highlighting over it, but I just uh, used black and didn't end up using all of that. I used a lot of it, um, but at this point, I'm just kind of developing it and it's going to look, it's gonna look different than that when it's done, but I'm just basically layering and getting some feather shapes in there. I bet you anything, if I had more experience doing close-up animals like that and feathers using oils um, wet on wet, I just bet you anything I wouldn't take this long. That's something that you can build up with experience and gain over time. You know, you can learn the shortcuts, you can learn what is necessary and what you don't need to put time into, but I'm always looking for ways to get a good outcome 
using simple techniques. If you can simplify your process, then everything's going to run smoother and I think you will speed up even your learning experience. Right there, I'm just adding some shadow to the feathers under the wing because it's the bird is lifting his wing a little bit. So where the light is coming in, it's going to be shadowed on that portion of the body. Just creating some depth there with some darker blue. Also, brushes make a big difference. If you got good brushes, then you're going to have good brush strokes. I recently, for Christmas, got a really nice brush set that I'll have to show you guys sometime, but it uh, has really, really improved my um, my painting j just from the, the standpoint of having better brushes. You can see I'm adding some white, mixing that in just to add some more highlights. Also, it's worth mentioning here, when you're painting something like this at home, I think it's really beneficial to have natural lighting. If you got a window nearby or something like that, it's better than just, you know, turning on a lamp nearby because um, when I was painting this bird, there was a certain point where I was painting at night and so I didn't have the natural light that I that I wanted um, but I was I just wanted to keep on painting even though it got dark so um, I, I had a lamp and I remember thinking I think it was actually at this point here that you see me painting that the bird looked a little too dark and the color wasn't as good and I came back to it the next day with that natural light shining through the window and it suddenly looked like it was supposed to look. So that's good to uh, to remember to have try to have natural lighting when you're painting because it wouldn't have been good if I had thought it was too dark when it really wasn't and then changed it. Just adding a little more shadow up there to the bill. We are just about ready to call this painting good. This is the finishing touches now. You can see I'm just adding in some final highlights. I'm going to put, I think I want to put another leaf in, maybe two. So we're going to get to that as well. But this is the, the last stuff right here. Just putting in some final highlights. I know that like oil paint and acrylic paint, people are always trying to find which one is better. Um, I think there's pros and cons to both. I think that it just depends on the individual artist when it comes to which paint is better. For me, I tend to like oil paint better even though I'm more new to it just because of my painting style. Um, but there's people that do incredible things with acrylic paint as well. So don't be afraid to use acrylic and have that be your preference. Even if you hear people like me say, I like oils better. 
I think it really just depends on the person. You can see I'm putting in some darker green up there on the top of the inside of a leaf just because I want to give the illusion that it's kind of hanging down and there's parts that because of the angle of the sunlight hitting the leaf and the angle of the leaf it's not all going to be just one bright bright color as the light is shining through it. There's going to be some shadow up there as well so that's what I'm putting in. Um, that leaf over there that I'm working on right now, that is the top side of the leaf, so I'm going to make sure that stays consistent with my other top-sided leaf. It's going to be white. Okay, so the painting is done, and I think the most valuable bit of learning that we can get out of this video is don't overcomplicate it. If you do that, you'll probably just end up frustrating yourself. Don't overthink it. Just take the picture that you want to do, you know, that you want to add a lot of detail in, and just take it simply and practice it. Don't be overly critical of it, and eventually you will learn for yourself how to put detail into it. Watching other people helps. I do that. I watch some other channels, and you will pick up things that are really helpful but most importantly I think for each person your painting is unique and don't try to overthink it like I said don't try to take what other people do and do everything exactly the same as them just simplify it and take the general concepts that they're employing and practice it yourself and eventually you'll just you know you'll get better and better and you'll learn things for yourself and your paintings will improve. And so that's that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button. And I'll try to get more videos out in the future. Until then, God bless you guys.